guys, welcome back to the Wrestling Podcast. We have me, our host, Will, and William. How are you guys doing? We're doing I'm good. doing good. How are you? And today we have our special guest, Caden Henshaw. We're super excited to have him, the uh, state champ, uh, social media star. Um, super glad to have you. How are you doing, Caden? Thanks. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, guys. Glad to be on. Yeah. Let's so get on. let's get on with the first question. Um, can you please tell us a little about yourself? Yeah, sure. So I'm 18 years old. Uh, I live in Wisconsin, West Bend, Wisconsin, and uh, I won this past year's uh, state championship uh, at 132 pounds, and I'm uh, committed to wrestle at UW. Parkside, uh, also in Wisconsin, it's a D2 school, and I'm uh, super excited, uh, you know, for what the future holds. What was your mindset and gameplay going into your state finals match? Yeah, so pretty much, like, I, I've, I've literally, like, dreamt of that moment, you know, in bed before the match. Like, ex- like I'm just going to take you, like, before that match, like, right before that match, I was laying down, um, and I was just thinking everything that, you know, I want in that match, you know, for me to get the first takedown, you know, like, a late escape, you know, what's going to happen after I win, who am I going to look at, what am I going to do, like, I pictured all these things, and I had complete certainty that I would win, and, I mean, just coming out there and uh, winning, it was a dream come so. Nice. Yeah. So, can you um, describe, like, the emotions after winning that match? Yeah, so as, as like as soon as I won, like like I literally felt like I was like walk, walking on clouds. Like I literally like couldn't feel anything. I just I just remember like in the crowd and just thinking like, holy crap, like I did it. Like I I, I say I never thought I did it, but I've dreamt of that for you know over four years now. Um, like every single day, just writing down that same goal that I want to be a, a wrestling state champion. Um, and it was, like it was one of definitely one of the best moments of my life for sure. Yeah. Um, why did you choose University of Parkside? Yeah, so I wanted to have a, go to a college that was, you know, pretty pretty close, which is about an hour away because, you know, family, girlfriend I'm really uh, committed to. Um, also, uh, so some guys there. I did know some guys that were some, uh, you know, pretty good wrestlers that I know there. Uh, good coach, uh, you know, good facility. They had, you know, the good, like, majors I wanted um and also i i, I would have went i don't say i would have went to one but college is kind of expensive as a lot of you may know um so having just a little bit of uh, some money in um that they can pay for that really yeah yeah um, um i have a question so did you commit before the announcement came out that um you could make college students can make money yeah, I, I committed before that message came out. But, I, of course, there was, like, some talk, you know, like, uh, in the past, you know, year and a half that things were, you know, changing and stuff. Mm-hmm. I knew that it would come to a point, but not the official message of necessarily when. Yeah. Okay. So, do you think that would have affected uh, your decision of where you would have gone to college? Oh, that's a great question. And this, I don't think so. Like, thinking it as a pro- of it would be super cool you know to go to d1 school you know maybe represent wisconsin and being with all those guys in the big 10 network would be absolutely insane uh, but i mean we're gonna see where you know these next couple of years take us you know maybe if i you know if i'm gonna transfer uh, to another d1 school uh you know it's better you know you know like you know my tournaments and whatnot uh but but all in all i don't think i don't think it will okay what made you want to start a youtube channel yeah, so I, I first started uh, after my freshman year, and I really wanted to make videos and stuff like that so I can um, I can look back on it, you know, as time went on, like, you know, later down in life, if I'm, like, showing, like, my kids, like, this is what I was, because I was, like, I was a kid that was, like, interested in what, like, my parents, what they sounded like, what they looked like. Um, I thought it would be really cool to share, you know, what was inside my head, you know, through, through those years, and especially wrestling. <laughs> So, you know, dedicated to it for the for a long time. I really wanted something to look forward to it. Um, and then also um, to potentially grow, you know, my personal, uh, like, uh, personal brand that wise. And, uh, you know, maybe for a career, you know, one day that I can continue with it. Yeah. So, you have 63,000 subscribers. Um, what have you done to get this many? And how do you promote yourself? Yeah, so what, what I've done is... Um, I, I, I try to post as much content as I can that is niche specific. So my niche is wrestling. So everything wrestling related, I always post there. Uh, I look, I researched a whole bunch of videos on, you know, videos, you know, scene. And by doing this, I, I 
search about tags, descriptions, thumbnails, stuff like that. Um, and so what I found out is by, you know, pretty much like flooding my videos, titles, uh, tags and stuff with like high school wrestling, wrestling, wrestling throws, top five wrestling things. People search these things on the internet, and so when they search them, my videos will go higher on the ranks, and so people, you know, see that first and click it. Um, and when that keep posting, I respond to. Well, in the beginning, I did respond to comment every DM, everything like that. But now it got a little bit out of hand. There's a lot of, it's it's just a lot of work like that way. Uh, but I'm still like responding to comments, DMs, stuff like that. So. Yeah, I remember when you had like a hundred subscribers and you had like ten comments on every video and you would respond to like all of them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um ha is it, is it hard to manage a YouTube channel like during the season? So so for me actually because as soon as like I got home from like a tournament or a, like a wrestling meet at our high school, I would literally like get home, I'd shower and literally just like like be so dedicated on putting out this video, you know, for all and everything like that. Cause they were, you know, saying, you know, how'd you do at this? How'd you do at this meet? And I really want to, you know, get it done as fast as I could. And I, I, I guess I was passionate and obsessed with getting it out. It wasn't that hard. So no. Okay. How much weight did you cut um, during this past season? And how much do you think you weigh right now? So what, right now I actually, I actually hit 150. So that's the heaviest I've ever weighed. Um, and uh, I probably in the middle of the year, I was around like 143, 144. Uh, so about 12 pounds. But um, at the end of the day, it was pretty much just all water weight and just extra snacks I just don't eat. So it wasn't too crazy. But okay. um, So what weight class do you think you're going to be wrestling in college? So I hope I wrestle at 141. I could potentially wrestle at 133. Yeah. Uh, making a video on um, com like my weight class coming down uh, here in the next couple months. So I kind of want to get that flattened out so that I could possibly to go 133. Um, and then the reason for that is just because I really do want, you know, a starting spot, you know, on the college roster. And, you know, of, of course, it's not like you sign up, you get recruited, and, you know, you're on the team. I mean, that's lost. There's going to be a lot of competition in the room. Um, and so, I mean, whatever's best, I, I hope I can go 141, you know, but uh, we'll see. We'll see where that takes us. Mm -hmm. What is your diet like during the season? Yeah, so I, I, I do a lot of uh, cooked vegetables, so like broccoli, cauliflower, just cook that up. I eat lots of lean meats like chicken uh, and a lot of fruit snacks and granola bars. A lot of that because mm -hmm. they're light. You can, uh, you know, eat them whenever, so. Yeah. Okay. What do you do before every match to warm up? Yeah, so uh, what I do is I, I – I say my mantras in my head. So someone would be like, I'm thankful for the opportunity to rest aggressive and relentless, no fear of losing or making mistakes. And I never, ever give up. So I say these things. Um, of course I'm stretching. I'm maybe doing some stance in motion, buddy doing some, like some light work, maybe a little hand fighting stuff like that. Uh, but pretty much just getting my mind in the right place before. I yeah. Other than wrestling, what hobby do you have? Uh, well, I mean, I, I have a YouTube channel, so making videos. I love making videos. I like playing games, hanging out with a friend, uh, going on the boat, water skiing. I love water skiing uh, with my friends on their lake. Um, what else? I like sleeping. I like working out. I like going on walks. Other than that, I don't know. That's, that's a little bit there. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your goal for this upcoming season? This, well, this goal for this upcoming season would, uh, well, I guess still in August, of course, freestyle and Greco um, for state. I want to win that crown winner. And then also I do want to, of course, make the team. That's kind of the first goal there. Um, but I want to have a winning record, that's for sure. And I do want to, you know, qualify for that NC, uh, NCAA tournament. And, you know, hopefully. So uh, we'll, we'll see as time goes on uh, to see, uh, you know, what visions I have then. I think it'll be uh, more impactful if I'm there with the whole team and uh, in the resting room and really just deciding, you know, what do I really want? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a long-term goal? Well, long-term, my pretty much long-term goal was to be a high school state champion. And believe it or not, I wasn't really going to wrestle in college. I was really, really against going to college and things like that because I wanted to be, you know, like an entrepreneur. I was wanting to create videos, make money way uh you know inspire motivate people that way um but now of course i do want to continue wrestling in college 
It'll help with a personal brand. I think it'll help, you know, with my, you know, with my major things like that. Um, and, oh shoot, I think I got sidetracked. I don't know. I forgot the question, but yeah. What's your main goal for wrestling? Like, what do you want to get out oh, of it? Goal for wrestling, main goal for wrestling. I, honestly, I, I now, right now it is the NCAA uh, Division II National Champion. Probably, probably, probably any, anything that's the biggest thing in where I'm wrestling, it, it's, it's that. Okay. So, girlfriend looks like she's by your side for everything. How much does she do for you? How much does she what? What does she do for you? Like, how does she help you? Oh, how does she help me? Yeah, I mean, she, she's always, you know, at, at my tournaments, at my meets. I mean, you know, she's always supportive. You know, win or lose, I mean, you know, she's always there. She doesn't, you know, not, not that she doesn't care if I win or lose, but, uh, she, you know, it's not like she's going to leave me if I lose or anything. She's so supportive always there she takes you know lots of good videos and pictures of wrestling so that's awesome and you know it's super there too because i feel like i better because if i'm like wrestling essentially for someone um it's it's more or less like you're if you lose in the back of your mind it's almost like you don't want to let them down but not too much that you're overloading your mind but um you know she's the best yeah she's the best Um, if you could wrestle anyone in the past, present, who would you like to wrestle? Ooh, who would I like to wrestle? I probably, probably my dad. If I would wrestle my dad, like the same age that we are, because he was a state champion as well, I think that would be really, really cool if I could wrestle my dad. Okay. Okay. Uh, you were in the wrestling hype house. Can you talk about what it is and, um, how you got in it? Yeah, sure. So. Well, wrestling Hype House, you know, it's first started on TikTok by a guy named Chris Kelly. And me and Chris Kelly actually wrestled um, last year in Greco, and uh, he threw me. He was a slippery dude. He was sweating. Up. But that, that's another story. Uh, but pretty much, yeah, we were on TikTok. We make, you know, these wrestling videos. And, you know, we're like, hey, why don't we make, like, a big group? And so Chris started it. He invited me on. Um, and, you know, I was one of the first ones to join. And then we just want to recruit, you know, other good wrestlers, TikTok wrestlers, you know, uh, really good college wrestlers and stuff like that. And so, you know, we have a lot of, you know, big wrestler, wrestlers there, like Abel Stevenson left, though. Seth Gross, he left, though. Anthony Echemita, Echemendia, um, Chase Aldate. I mean, like, just, just a bunch of really good kids. So, uh, nice. Instagram, we just hit a now having fun in there so that's cool um so how old were you when you started wrestling and how did you get into it yeah so I, I really first started wrestling when I was about five years old but then uh my mom took us out because she thought it was too dangerous um and so then we did some karate and then she then we got kicked out of there or something but then essentially I, I started first grade was my first year of wrestling um so this is this was my 12th year Nice. What's your favorite part about wrestling? Well, my favorite part about wrestling is that if, if I can set my mind to something and if I can work towards it, that I can achieve it. And I think, you know, it's, it's kind of a metaphor of life is wrestling. You know? um, there's always going to be someone who's trying to take out your legs, you know, at your job or, you know, at school or, you know, whatnot, you know, on the wrestling mat. But I think just doing your best and working towards a goal. Um, I mean, that's, you know, that's just all you can uh, – that's just all you can like hope for, you know, to get that goal and work hard at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, how has wrestling helped you in life? What lessons has it taught you? Well, re- well, again, wrestling has taught me that, you know, no, if, if I can work hard at it and if I can imagine it in my mind that I can, I can produce it in reality, but it also teaches me that if I want something doesn't mean that I'll get it. Um, and, you know, like, I, I do kind of believe that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And, you know, especially my junior year of not making the state, even though I was ranked number one state, um, like that was a humongous setback, one of my, probably my biggest setback in wrestling. And I think, you know, because of that, you know, loss right there, uh, I'm not sure if I would have came back, you know, you know, won my senior year. So um, everything happens for a reason. Um, and uh, I mean, there's just so many lessons and morals you can take, you know, work hard and you'll make your dreams a reality. So, mm-hmm. um, so you wrestle um, all three styles. What would you say would be your favorite and why? Yeah, so I, I really like Greco just because, you know, it's super flashy. You get all the cool throws. But I mean, I love all three styles. Probably Freestyle and Greco would 
you know, both uh, in, you know, this, in the spring and summertime wrestling would probably be my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, could you pick a favorite out of freestyle and Greco? Oh, geez. Probably freestyle. I love freestyle. Okay. Which of your accomplishments do you consider to be the highest or like most proud of? I think I kind of already know this answer. Chip, for sure. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite move? My favorite move is the fireman. My highlight reel on YouTube, literally 5% of the highlights are me doing a fireman's. So yeah. that's, you know, a lot of people say it's my only move, but I mean, <laughs> might be. <laughs> yeah, it works, it works. Yeah. What was that? But if it works, it works. Yeah, exactly. If it's broke, don't fix it. Yeah. And it? Am I, okay. Um, so what other colleges um, did you look at? Um, well, there were a lot of colleges that were interested, like, uh, I think, yeah, Augsburg was, they called me, um, Eau Claire called me, Whitewater, um, a lot, lot, lot of D3 schools, not really any D1 schools, um, and then fun fact about Parkside, they really weren't interested in me at all, but I really just wanted to go there because, you know, it was D2, you know, good competition there, close to home, my dad went two years, so I got some connections down there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just kind of like, if you're looking forward to wrestling college and, you know, any, anyone can go pretty much to any college and wrestle, you know, if they won, pretty much anyone can go to a D1, D1 school and then just join the wrestling team. You know, as long as you talk, which he's fine with it, you know, whatever, you can always be in the practice room. If you're good enough, you're on the team. Mm -hmm. In the semifinals of the state tournament, you won an overtime, um, what kind of, like, were your emotions, and, like, how confident were you? Yeah, well, so, so it was actually sudden death, the tiebreaker won, so it was even pass overtime. So I was, okay. I was like, I was, I was, of course, I was, like, a little bit tired, but, like, my, my adrenaline was just running through the roof, and, I mean, I, like, I, like, I was not going to come all this way just to lose in the state semifinals, and so I was just so confident. I was, like, not wrestling angry or mad, but just wrestling determined and wrestling passionate, and so, I mean, I got out uh, there in that first round of tiebreaker and then um of course holding him down in the second uh to win i mean it was like pure and utter like just like everything coming together and like this was it if i if i win this i know i can win the finals you know if i can get through this I no know, i know i can win yeah um i forgot the guy who beat you earlier in the season um did you beat him or was he on the other side yeah so he out of the bracket he got beat by the guy that uh that got second that i beat in the finals oh, okay did he, he end up getting third? Uh, he, he ended up getting fourth. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What, when you finally got the reversal in your um, state finals match at the end, what were you thinking in your head? Like, what was the first, like, thought that you had? Yeah, like, the first thought was just, like, like you know, like, we did it. Like, you know, me, my dad, and we've been on that, you know, the run for, like, the longest time. And, I mean, my family, you know, my girlfriend there. I'm just, like, you know, this this could not be any more perfect. Like, th there hasn't been, like, like literally, like, one moment in my life. Everything everything was just right. It just felt right. And it was just, like, everything coming together. 12 years, you know, 12 years of work. You know, like, just years and years in the making. It was just pure and utter, like, happiness and just, like, gratitude, I felt. Yeah, I remember watching the video. And it was just Crosby going, yes, Kaden, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. It's still super awesome to, uh, you know, listen to, like, Crosby and Damien's reaction. Still uh, do. Yeah, I remember you said, like, when you're working out, when you're, like, running on the treadmill, you, like, just watch that video. Yes, I do. Yeah. So, um, what coaches do you give to, uh, credit to your uh, success? Um, what places or clubs have really um, helped you improve your wrestling? Yeah, so definitely, you know, my dad, uh, you know, my, my, I mean, my grandpa just taking me into all the practices at the, you know, clubs, like Ringers Wrestling Academy, that helped a lot, you know, early on. Um, but then I made the switch to Askren Wrestling Academy uh, my senior year. And so, I mean, Max Askren, you know, him and his room and all those guys training with, like, guys like Matty B. Fatty, you know, Bryce Jankowski, just, you know, really good wrestlers there. That really helped the tremendous bunch um but i mean my dad and my grandpa were probably you know the main two that you know, really helped you know this this dream a reality mm -hmm. 
what is your favorite place to eat after weigh-ins or your favorite food? Pro well, ooh, probably either Cadoba or Buffalo Wild Wings because, like, just especially after all those resting meats, just come up, getting some nice Parmesan garlic wings. That's the best. Yeah. Nice. Um, during quarantine, what have you done to stay in shape? Yeah, so I mean, I've been working out in my new uh, weightlifting room, uh, doing weighted pull-ups, incline push-ups, and staying, uh, some wrestling here and there with siblings and whatnot. Um, nothing too crazy. I uh, have been going to some occasional wrestling practices that are open with small groups, but now we're back with full groups now, um, so that's super exciting and just like so many good wrestlers in the room, so it's awesome. Nice. In the intro of your YouTube videos it shows you meditating um do you find meditating to be helpful and if so how much oh yes like so helpful like i remember first finding like finding out like when i was uh on netflix there's actually this uh, sh uh this kind of like documentary that you guys should watch all the secret and so the secret pretty much is like the secret to life, like the secret to getting anything you want and by doing this it's called the law of attraction so you get what you you know you get what you you know you go about what you focus on and so you know by meditating and just like focusing on uh you know what you want and by constantly doing this you'll keep attracting that back into in ways that you might not know that it'll come out and uh, produce it in the end um so a question from the live um so you already said your favorite move would you what would be your favorite position is it uh neutral yeah definitely neutral mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um you got first at conference um, but your team got second. How did it feel to have a um, good season, individual season and also a good team season? Yeah, it, it, like that was super awesome. You know, I was, I was a really big, you know, on like I hoping and like, you know, training with the team and as a team as a whole, you know, getting good. And that conference was a bittersweet moment because if one of us even won our match at conference, we would have been the first conference champions in our history. Uh, but if, unfortunately, we did not. But this has probably been the best team that West Benice has ever had. And that, you know, it's exciting that, you know, each, you know, each year of like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior has been better and better as, you know, as team went on, uh, each team got better and better. So that was, it's super impactful. Mm. Nice. So um, who has supported you throughout your wrestling group? Who would you say would be the top like mentor or inspiration for you? Yeah. So again, my, my dad won uh, his state championship. And so in the, in our wrestling, wrestling room, our gym in our high school, uh, there's these, uh, these four pictures, five pictures of state champions. School. And by, you know, by looking at those pictures and being so motivated, hey, I really want to get up there. You know, that, that was like pretty much like my main goal. I just wanted to be up there. And so by having to look at, you know, every day, especially, you know, when you're at wrestling meets, uh, that it was just really motivating and really inspiring. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who is your favorite wrestler of all time? Favorite wrestler? I mean, like, so I, I'm, I'm kind of flustered on this. I, I always go back and forth. Um, but, I mean, I, like, I could say Jordan Burroughs or uh, probably Jaden Cox. I, I really like Jaden Cox. Okay. Didn't I think I could be wrong. But didn't you like do an interview with him? Yeah. Yeah. But there's also this wrestling camp too, and he he invited us to train with him too. Uh, but but uh, it it was always like uh, we'd always have to go to uh, uh, the the Colorado Olympic Training Center for that, um, and just we were like kind of too busy and whatnot. So, but yeah, he he's a super cool guy, you know, wrestler. Uh, you know, get on the big team. Uh, okay. Your videos are edited very, very well. Do you edit them by yourself, or do you have an editor? Yeah, so I, I edit them all on my own, all mm -hmm. on my own, except, except one video uh, for um, this girl's school project. But pretty much all of them are on my own, or uh, my girlfriend helps as well. Yeah. Um. Do you mind asking what software you use? Yeah, I use Final Cut. Okay. Wait. Can you say that one more time? Final Cut Pro X. Oh, okay. Um, so, or wait, and it can I have one more. Do you like TikTok or YouTube more? YouTube, way more, yeah. Okay. Because you build a, a more loyal fan base, more loyal to your followers on YouTube than on TikTok. Yeah. How many followers uh, do you have on TikTok? Uh, 36.7, I think. Okay. 
um, have been getting uh, good at your dances from TikTok. <laughs> what was that? Have you, have you been getting good at your dances from TikTok? No, definitely not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> probably worse. Probably more cringy. What would you say is your favorite uh, dance? My favorite dance? Oh, my gosh. I mean, the classic renegade, but I, I, don't, I, don't know the, I don't know the renegade. I can't, can't do this. This is as good as anyone else. But that, that's why the I watched one of your TikToks, and you're, like, outside, and you put your wrestling shoes on. I don't know why. It just triggered me so much. Uh, yeah. it, was like, it was a really nice pair of wrestling boutiques, and I was just like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what I get. Why, uh, I, a lot of people do get super mad at me for that. <laughs> hey, when, when content calls, you know, you just, you just got to do it. Yeah. Um, is that all we got? Yeah, I think that's all we got. Um, thanks, Caden, for being on it. It's been really awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. You're very and welcome. I think that's the end of it. Um, once again, thank you uh, for ha uh, coming on the show, our podcast. Very exciting. Um, yeah. Maybe we and get you to become a Caden. national champion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. Every Go subscribe to Caden's um, YouTube. Go watch his TikToks. You probably already saw him. Yeah. Uh, bye. Thank All you. Right, see you guys.